Hi everyone. Welcome to Stampin' Gala in my weekly Wednesday broadcast on YouTube. Um, I have some very cute projects for you today, and I'm using the You're the Biggest, Your Biggest Fan bundle. It includes, let me show you this stamp set and the sports events die. So this is the bundle. And as you know, if you purchase the bundle together, you save 10%. So that's the set I'm using today. I'm also using some other dies um, that I thought fit perfectly for this set, and they're called the Stitch Stars. And this is still available in our annual catalog. In addition to that, I'm using the beautiful shapes. I'm using these dies right here in this set. However, if you don't have this set and you do have like the um, layering circles or punches, they'll work just fine as well. So that's what I'm using today. Um, we're making, of course, um, two greeting cards. This one has a cute little packet on the inside that you can put a gift card in, or um, it would be really cute to put some baseball tickets in there um, for a birthday gift. And then we also have this card right here. And it's rare that I create cards that are kind of um, male or masculine. Um, but this is perfect for the perf um, your sports fan or a little leaguer. And then I also have this cute little treat holder. And this holds um, some peanuts. All right. So this is what we're making today. But I do have some announcements first. So let me get this out of the way. Um, my Christmas retreat that is in October, October 8th, 9th, and 8th and 9th. Um, it's a Saturday and a Sunday, but we do get together on the Friday as well for people who come in early and we have a bingo. So anyway, um, this actually is already half sold out. So if you're interested, um, you might want to um, jump on this right away. If you need this information, um, send me a private message and I'll make sure I get this out to you. Okay. Also, um, my cruise um, for next year has been announced. I originally said that it was going to Aruba, but um, Royal Caribbean contacted me and said that um, the ship is going to be in dry dock. So instead, it's um, the Western Caribbean, and it's um, March. It leaves March 26th of 2023. So if you're interested in this. Let me know. Um, I can send you the link to this as well. So that's really exciting. And then for those of you that are doing the bingo with me Friday night, I want to show you those cards that we're making. Let me grab them. As you know, and I see Nancy's on here, and I know she doesn't like the stamp set, but I think you'll think these cards are cute. Anyway, I'm using the um, Mischievous Mice stamp set. But these are the cards we're making for the bingo. And this is Friday night. So, ladies, um, if you have signed up for this, you will get a link to Zoom and also the PDF tomorrow. So, anyway, these are the cards that we're making. I just think they're so cute. So, that's that. Um, two other things. Um, even though this closed yesterday, I did get some extra ones. So, if you're interested in this, um, group of Create a la carte cards. I do have a few extra sets, and this is for March, and it would be the um, Dahlia Day set, and it's $42. It does include a whole roll of ribbon, and it includes a whole um, package of the um, DSP and um, the five make and takes, as well as the, the um, PDF. So if you're interested and you're not signed up for it, just uh, and if you'd like it, let me know. Send me a private message and I'll get this out to you. And I do have a few more sets of the Easter one. Um, so anyway, this set is also $42. It includes a whole um, pack of the DSP. It includes a half of um, package of the um, ribbon here. And it includes some of the um, rhinestones, the iridescent rhinestones, and the five cards, and the I mean four cards, and also the treat holder, the um, PDF, and the you know the five make and takes. And this is forty two dollars as well. So let me know if you are interested in any of those, and let me see what else. So we're going to get started. If you're new to my channel, if you're the first, if it's 
if you're new to the channel, this is the first time you're watching, please let us know so we can give you a warm welcome. And if you're watching on replay, let me know that as well. So anyway, we'll go ahead and get started. And I think what I'll do is I'll start with this one first, okay? So let me give you a quick look at this again. And I'm using Poppy Parade and Night and Navy. The um, DSP is called um, Hey Sports Fan, okay? He has some really cute stuff. And I think this kind of looks like nostalgic. Um, I think it's cute. All right, so we're going to go ahead and get started. Let me grab that stuff here. And I did do a ton of the die cutting ahead of time, so you don't I don't bore you with that. So again, this is Poppy Parade, and it is five and a half by eight and a half, scored at four and a quarter. And I have to tell you that um, I already have this on my blog. Can you believe that? <laughs> so um, we have that done, and then we're going to take the Night and Navy and a piece of Very Vanilla, and then I have a piece of the um, DSP. We're going to put this on here first, just in case I need to trim some of it off. So let me go ahead and do this. Now, ladies, if you want these make and takes, just make sure that you um, place your order before Saturday or by Saturday using this host code, and I'll be sure to get these out to you. So I'm just centering this right, right down the middle, okay, and just kind of wiggling it to make sure it's even. Let me see. It looks pretty good. So we're going to go ahead and put it right on here. Uh, thanks, Tina. I don't know if you guys can tell, but um, I feel a little stuffy and I've been under the weather a little bit. So we're going to go ahead and put this on. And I may have an announcement at the end of this um, class if you're interested in um, holding on and listening. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and put, oh, this is on dimensionals, but that's okay. I can still put it on here. So I'm really excited about the Christmas retreat. It is crazy. I have, um, I think, 50 people already signed up for it. So it's more than half sold out. It's more like three quarters of the way. All right. So I'm anxious because next week we get to see the new catalog. So I'm excited about that. And speaking of new catalogs, I am going to be um, filling out our, we have a customer um, form through our um, back office on our um, Stampin' Up! site. And I'll be selecting everybody who has been a customer of mine in the last six months. And you'll be getting a new catalog from me. And then um, if, um, if you're not a customer of mine and are interested in receiving the catalog, send me an email. And as long as you plan on purchasing from me the next time you purchase, I'd be happy to send you a catalog. All right, so now what we're going to do is take the Grand Slam stamp with the Happy Parade ink. And hopefully I'll get this straight. Let me see. Julie, um, the Christmas retreat, I will have some that are through the mail. Oh, shoot. Look, I got some of it on there. Let me turn it over. Um, and those sell out quickly, too. I'm only going to have a certain amount of them through um, the mail. So if you want one, I'll let you know when, when they're ready. Okay, so we're going to put this, we're going to back this with the navy and then i want to show you something i did too see how i got that little red you can't even see it on the camera i don't think 
So we're going to put this together here. All right, and then we're going to put this aside and we're going to build. What I did was I have a couple of little banners here and I ran this through the big shot or I always call it a big shot, but it's not the big shot anymore. I think forever it'll be called the big shot, but it's this die right here. And then these right here for the, um, the end of it. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to flip these over and add a little bit of glue. And this is just the, um, the sports paper, the, um, Hey sports fan. So this one is going to go on the red or the not red, but poppy parade. Sounds like thunder upstairs. Okay, so that's that. And then we'll put this one on. I like these colors today together, the um, Poppy Parade and Night and Navy. And um, it's very vanilla. Normally I'm using white, basic white, but this is a color that goes with the DSP. All right, so see how these go? So I'm just going to put a little... Um, dimensional here and connect these two together. So anyway, we're going to pop this on just like that. Okay. And then look at this. Can you see what that is? It's like a little toothpick. So I'm going to um, and I dyed it. I just rolled it in the Night of Navy ink. It looks black, but it's it's really navy. So what we're going to do is put this on here. And I'm just going to stick a couple of glue dots on there. Let me see. All right here. in here and I'm I had to hold it so look at my fingers I got all inky here so I'm just going to put this down on here just like that so I have the little flag all right so now this is going to go just like this over here so what I'm going to do is put a little dimensional on here so who's all anxious to get um, the new catalog? Okay, let me see. I want to get it in the right spot. You know what? I better put another one. Let me see. All right. So that's good right there. All right, now I'm going to take some, put some dimensionals on this. And so I want to make sure I don't put one behind the upper corner there. I can't wait either. I just, um, I'm excited to see the new colors and that's always a exciting thing. Now my fingers are all full of ink and I'm going to have to get some cleaner or diaper wipes to wipe them off so I don't ruin my cards. Hold on one second because that, um, that little toothpick still had ink on it. Hopefully this will do it. Okay, so I'm going to slide this under here just like that and... All right, so I got that. Okay, so I used the the little circle dies to cut these little baseballs out. And this is out of the DSP as well. So I'm just going to, I should have lifted this up a little bit. And this is going to go right there. So that's good. And then I have one of the stitch stars. And this is in Night and Navy. So I'm going to put some glue on the back of here. Just like that and let me lift this a tiny bit and we're gonna put this right here all right now another one of the cute little dies is this number one all right 
So I'm going to put a little bit of glue on the back of this. Now I've ran this through twice and I ran one in the very vanilla and I ran one in Poppy Parade. So I took the one out of the Poppy Parade and I'm, I'm just going to put a tiny bit of glue inside here and just pop this like a puzzle piece right inside. Just like that. Okay. And same thing with the number sign. So I got to pop that little. Let me see if I can get a little bit of glue in here enough to stick it down. Okay. So, so far, so good. All right. And then I have another one of the little. Um, baseballs and I'm going to slide this right there let me see I don't like that angle I want it more on the side like that yeah that's perfect okay then we have these cute 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 little um, resin star embellishments so I think I'm going to go with the, the um, navy ones. You can do whatever ones you like, but I think I'm going to go one here. And let me, let me do, I'm going to put the bigger one up here. And then a smaller one here. And I think I'll do a red one right here. Okay, so I have the biggest fan. Um, I cut this off by mistake, so I am using it up. This is the Fan Baker's Twine. It has three colors in the package. It has the navy, the poppy parade, and the green. And I forgot what color the green is. Which, um, But anyway, I'm going to tie a double bow with this. Okay, and then put this through. All right, I'm just going to separate these a little bit, and I kind of like them left longer. And then I'm going to put it right there with a glue dot and the outside of this card is done. Tina, I think you're just biased. <laughs> okay, we'll put it right there. And I did get your registration, you and your sister, so I'm excited to see you. Okay, so here is the outside of the card. I hope you like this one. All right, so let me do the inside. So I just have a little strip of navy, the vanilla, and also the navy backing. So let me grab my little um, pad here, and we're just going to stamp happy birthday down in the corner. And I think I'll get it right here. Perfect. All right, so I'm going to put some glue on the back of here. I need to wipe this off. I'm getting tons of it. A lot of people ask me where I got these, and they're bigger than normal. And my friend Lou, who used to be on my team, as you know, she passed away in January. Um, anyway, she sent me a bunch of those. So I'm using them up, and she would be glad. Anyway, so we're going to put this on. And you know, I see a tiny, tiny, tiny hangover. So let me get that. It's really tiny, but it makes a difference. So 
So this is going to go on here. And ladies, also keep in mind that I'll be doing a ribbon and paper share. So, um, and if there's new blends, I'll be doing a blends share as well. But, um, and in color share. So let me know if you're interested in that. All right, so we're going to go ahead and tie a bow on here. Please make sure that you share this video as well to be included in the drawing next week. And I'll be um, announcing a winner of the drawing um, tomorrow for this video, or for last week's video. I didn't have a chance to look at the people who shared it, so I want to be fair and make sure that I get everybody that shared. Okay. I love detail on cards, and I hope you do too, because that's my style. Hey, Maureen. Somebody already told me today that their grandson's birthday is in May, I think she said, and this will be a perfect card for her grandson, so that's good. My grandson's um, bedroom is done in um, baseball theme as well, so this would be good for him too. So anyway, here's your first card. I hope you like this one. Okay, so we're going to move on to the second card. Let me get this out of the way. And this is the second card. And like I said, it has a little pocket here for a gift card or for tickets, okay? So that's what we're gonna make next. Okay, so it's still, this is still eight and a half, eight and a half by five and a half. And it's still scored down the middle at four and a quarter, but you just also score it at one and a quarter for the little flap, okay? So we're going to fold this over, and then this is going to be folded over. Okay, I'm not going to use glue. I'm going to use tear and tape there. It just works better, I think. So let me get a clean piece of tear and tape. So we're going to put it up to the fold line, the first fold, fold line. Don't go over it. Just like that. Simple. Uh, Lisa, you're too cute. Thank you. I think Lisa's been following me for a few years, and she's going to be in Michigan in August, so I get to meet her. All right. So here's some of the DSP. We're going to put these two pieces together. Lisa, um, I do need that date again. I have it written down, but I want to get it. I have lots of appointments coming up, so I want to make sure I get it all in one place. Oh, Maureen, that's awesome. Congratulations. This love newborns, too. All right, so this is going to go on the front flap. Just make sure you get it nice and even. All right, and then this is another one in the DSP pack. There's so many cute patterns. One of my friends, she doesn't even want to, um, she doesn't like to cut her DSP. She hoards it. All right, so we have this. So this is going to go on with dimensionals. 
but you got to make sure that you don't put them on this side. Otherwise, your card will stick um, closed. So I'm going to put five of them on here. Just like that. Okay, and then go ahead and get this straight. That looks pretty good. Okay, and then we have some stamping to do. Now, first of all, I die cut this already out of the um, DSP, but when you open the card, see how that looks? And I don't like that. So what I did was I cut out another one in the Poppy Parade, and I'm going to... Um, glue these together so when it when you have it on your card and you open it up you see the poppy parade instead of that other pattern that doesn't even go with my theme on this set so I'm just gluing these together and don't worry about the end here just be very um, make sure that this is all straight over here now I'm gonna stamp hooray and Normally, I would stamp it first and then cut it out, but we'll be fine. Uh-oh, I got ink on me. Are you guys messy stampers like me? Okay. So this is going to go right here. And it came out perfectly. Okay. So now we're going to take this little red banner piece and we're going to put some glue on the back of here. Oops. We'll put this on here. See, it looks so cute. All right. So what we're going to do is this is going to go up on dimensionals right here. Glad you're here, Stephanie. Sorry, I don't um, see all the comments as they go by, but I do look at them afterwards, so... I'll catch them there. Okay, so this is going to go on here, just like that, kind of in the center. Then I cut out a few of the um, stars in both Poppy Parade and Night of Navy. So this one, I'm just going to slide in right here. Let me see. Like that, I think. So this is going to be on with glue. like that okay all right I did run this through the big shot and this is going to go on right here a little bit on top of the little hooray but I do need a couple of small little um, pieces of dimensionals I do have some of the smaller ones but for now I'm just Hopefully this is good enough. Let me see. Yeah, that'll work. All right, so this is going to, oh, shoot. I got to put the um, number one in here. So this is going to go here. Uh-oh. See how I'm putting the puzzle piece back in? Oh, gosh. <laughs> Let me try this again. Okay. So I'm going to take a little bit of tear and tape and make sure it's in place. I'm all thumbs today. There, so it won't pop out. 
And then I have this piece I got to put in as well. Should I not do so much detail? <laughs> All right, I got it. Fold that back. All right, so I got it. All right, so this is going to go on. Turn that off. Right here. Okay. Kind of centered, just like that. And I can stick a little bit of glue right here to hold this part down as well. That'll work. Okay. All right. Let me see what else we have going on. All right. So we're going to um, take two stars. And like I said, these are from the, the Stitch Star set. So we have one of the navy. And then we're going to do one in the Poppy Parade. Once before, I asked everybody if they cared if I do the um, running this through the die cutting machine in front of all of you, and it was overwhelming that you said that I didn't need to do that. So that's why I die cut everything ahead of time, everything that I can. All right, so I'm going to add some of these cute little resin stars. And these will be discontinued as well. So if you like these, you might want to get some of them. All right, so we're going to do a double bow again. All right, so go like this. I don't like it when it twists. Okay, so I'm going to put it back on my fingers and see if I can't get it a little bit smaller. Perfect. Okay. So I'm going to grab a glue dot. And put this right here. And then this is going to go right here. So far, so good. What do you think? All right. So then on the inside, I'm going to take these two. And I'm going to bring in my little mat here and the happy birthday. The happy birthday isn't going to be really centered so much. Maybe it is. All right. That looks good. Okay, we're going to put this together with the other very vanilla piece. Okay, I think I need to trim this up a little bit. And this will go in on the inside. See what I mean though? It looks so much nicer with this not um, having that DSP showing that doesn't go with the, the card itself because it's the green shade. Okay, so now I have a couple more 
stars. And so I'm going to put this one right here. You're so welcome. Juanita, are you new to my channel? Hey, Nicole. And then this one will go right on top of it. Thanks, Maureen. And then I have one of the baseballs. And I'm just going to put that right here. So there is the inside of your card. Hey, Rita. All right, so here is your second card. I hope you like these. All right, so we're going to move on to the last project. Okay, and that is this cute little box here. Okay, so what we're, we're going to do is make the bottom of the box first and the the bottom is, let me see, seven and a half by seven and three quarters. And it's scored at, on the seven and a half inch side, it's scored at one, three and a half, four and a half, and seven. Turn it and it's scored at one. But um, these dimensions are already on my blog. So we're just folding on the score lines. Okay, so we're going to do some trimming. And what we're going to do is cut up on the score lines here. And I like to cut that little score bump out. So see how small that is? Really small. So what I'm doing is cutting up on both sides of the score line. So that's how I get it really tiny like that. And then this portion will come out. I'm going to tab this and tab that, just like that. So this is how it looks. Let me get these little pieces off. Okay. So first of all, what we're going to do is just fold this over like that. So we're going to put the glue on this tab. Let me... <laughs> You're funny, Lisa. They're so easy, um, boxes are. I love making them. So I'm just putting it all along this tab. Can you see that tab? And then all I'm doing is folding this over, and it fits perfectly. Okay? Just like that. All right? And then... Let me get, hold on one second. I want to make sure that sticks. All right, so then these will go in first. And I'll just stick a little bit of glue on here. And then the, the back is right here. This is where the tab came together. So this will go first like that. And then we'll put the glue on this one. just like that. Okay. And then what I'm going to do is, let me see, take my scissors. Oh, it won't fit. I'll take this ruler and just kind of push it in there. Okay. All right. So that's good. So that's the bottom of the box. And then the top of the box is this is six and five eighths by five and an eighth, and it's scored at two on all sides. So we're gonna just fold this over. Oh, 
Well, I'm glad you guys like this. I'll show you in just a second, Susan. Okay, so what we're going to do here is we're going to trim up here. And we're going to do the same thing. We're going to cut this little score bump out. It's like one, um, it's smaller than one sixteenth. It's more like, maybe it's one sixteenth. It's tiny. Same thing over here. I can't remember if I got the peanuts at Target or the Dollar Tree, one or the other. All right, so now I'm going to just cut these on an angle. So the, on the little triangles, you're going to put the glue and bring it forward and just hold it for a second. And you can use just regular very vanilla or um, thick very vanilla, whatever you have. Oops. I didn't hold that one long enough. Okay, hold on giving me a hard time. There. Okay, so there's your box. So let me show you what's inside. It's these planters peanuts. And they have them in cashews or regular peanuts. So it fits right in there perfectly. And then the top will go on like that, okay? Oh, and don't tell me I forgot to cut this piece. Hold on one second. I did, but that's okay. Hold on one second. I forgot to cut this piece, but we'll cut it real fast, okay? So I have a piece of DSP. And what I'm going to do is just glue this on here and trim it off there and there, okay? I'm going to see a trick. So I put it on here even on the two sides, and then I just trim off the opposite side. And I swear I cut that piece, but I don't know what I did with it. Okay, so let's bring this in. Cut it up here and then cut the side off too, and it'll be perfect. Let's see, just like that. All right, so this is going to go on right here. And I always like to attach things to the lid so that when you take the lid off, it doesn't ruin your box. 
you can just um, you can still use it for other things. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is I'm gonna put one of the stars on dimensionals, and what I'm gonna do is put um, two dimensionals on here. I'm gonna put one there. I got glue all over my fingers and one there, just like that. Okay, so it's going to go just like that. Okay, and then we're going to take the red star and we're going to put a dimensional here and stick this together. Just like that and then cover that up. Okay. All right. I feel like I got a sneeze. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, so I have these pieces. Did I drop one? Yes, I. So this is going to go on here just like we did the other ones. these together I'll just put it on here now this one isn't going to have that little stick that I had okay so we're going to put a dimensional behind here Thank you. I see all the bless yous. All right, and then this is going to slide right under here. Okay, and I'm just going to put this on with glue. We have enough dimensionals on here. Now slide it right there. Okay, we have this cute little number one and this will go on dimensionals all right and then I'm going to put a, a star right on the bottom of the box, but I don't do it at first because I want to see where I want it to, to land. So I'm going to put it right here, just like that. And then we're going to put a cute little resin star. And then a bow. Of course, it has to have a bow, right? So don't forget, ladies, if you want these make and takes, just place your order by Saturday using this host code, and I'll be sure to get these out to you. Also, if you're interested in the um, Create a la Carte for March and February, I have the Easter one, and I also have the Dahlia Days ones. Let me know. I can just... I know there's a lot of people that join late. I can sh pop those up on the screen real quick. Um, I also have my retreat that's selling out fast. And um, my cruise is announced now, too. In addition to that, let me see. There was something else I wanted to mention. Now I can't remember what it is. So look how cute that is. I hope you like that. Let me grab them and show you. So here are the boxes. And I also have the cards here. Oh, make sure, ladies, I'm going to be switching over to a new um, system. 
So if you want to receive my emails and my um, newsletters, please hop over to my blog at stampingala.com and make sure that you um, you subscribe to my newsletters um, so that way you don't miss a thing. Okay, so those are the projects today. This is the Marches um, Create a la carte, and they all include the five make and takes in between $15 and $20 worth of product along with the PDF. So this is for March, and this is Dahlia Days. I have a few extra kits of these available. And then I also have um, the Easter one, and this is February's, and this is Easter Friends. So please specify if you're interested in either one of these, okay? All right, and um, I mentioned earlier that I had an announcement to tell you about, and I was um, I was reluctant reluctant about announcing this, but I did um, let my team know, and so I'm going to let my crafting friends know and my followers know, um, just um, just in case things come up in the next couple of months. I just want you to know that last week. I was diagnosed with breast cancer, and it is um, called in invasive ductal carcinoma. So they feel that they, um, I couldn't mention it last week because I was too emotional last week. This week I feel really good, um, but I did meet with my um, oncologist and also my radiation oncologist and my um, breast surgeon on Friday and they feel like they caught it fairly early. So anyway, um, I'm going to be having surgery on April 12th. So um, I um, ask for your prayers that everything goes well and that they get it all and, and that'll be done. But I will have six weeks of um, radiation every day for six weeks, unless they find something else out with the surgery. So. Um, Anyway, uh, if if something, um, if occasionally I might have to, um, you know, change something or depending on, you know, the schedule, um, just I hope that you um, will continue to follow me and be understanding of any change that I might have to make. But for the mean, in the meantime, I plan on just carrying on like business as usual. So. Thank you so much for joining me tonight. I really appreciate the fact that you're here with me every Wednesday. And um, I will see you next week. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.